So this is Riley Cole reporting for Waverly Newspapers. I'm here with the 2018 Bremer County Fair Queen, Hannah Folker. So Hannah, kind of start off with how it felt when you were first crowned about a week ago. Yep, so I was crowned not last Sunday, but the Sunday before that. And when I got crowned, I think the entire room saw my jaw drop. And it felt just amazing, because it was just, it's something I never thought would actually happen. So the fact that I actually got crowned just kind of blew my mind and it just, it was humbling and it was exciting and I just, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and then what made you want to run for Bremer County Fair Queen in the first place? Well, I ran last year actually because I was the Bremer County Beef Queen. So if you're any type of county queen, you have to run for Fair Queen. So I ran and it was a great experience. I had a great time, but I didn't win. I didn't get anything, runner up or anything. And I was kind of torn down a little bit by that and I didn't quite think I was going to run again. but. Some family friends of mine that are part of the Cattlemen's told me to run again and they said that they believed in me and said that they thought I had a chance. So that kind of gave me some confidence to run again and I thought, why not? Like, what's, what's the worst that could happen? You know, it's a good experience. I love the interview. It's awesome. So I decided to run again because of a little bit of a push from some family friends. <laughs> and then kind of talk about your previous fair involvements. And... Oh, yes. So I've been in 4-H ever since I was seven years old and then I joined FFA when I went into high school, so my freshman year. And then I've also been on the 4-H County Council ever since my freshman year of high school. And through those organizations, I volunteered my time at the county fair working at the Snack Shack for the FFA concession stands. And I've also showed beef cattle um, for the past couple years. Um, I've showed lambs, I've showed stuff in the blue building such as you know photography, barn quilts, blankets, stuff like that. So I'd say I've been pretty involved with the fair throughout the years. Absolutely, and then what's your favorite part about the Breeder County? My favorite part is the scrambles because it just makes me laugh. It just warms my insides when I see like a little kid run up and grab a chicken or grab an animal and they just run up to their parents and they're like, look what I got. And I just think that's so cute to see that. <laughs> awesome. And then what would you say is something unique about the 2018 Bremer County Fair? Uh, so this year, actually, the Bremer County Fair is including a rodeo Friday night, and this is something new. Uh, we haven't done this before, and I've been wishing for a rodeo for years now, so I'm really excited to see the rodeo on Friday night, and I think it'll bring in a big crowd. Absolutely, and then how would you say attending the fair is different by being the fair queen? Well, I can't go anywhere without being stopped by little kids or parents or just people wanting to come up and talk to me, which is 100% okay with me because <laughs> I like talking. So. Just, you know, the attention that I'm getting and people talking to me, I mean, I'm surprised I haven't lost my voice yet from all the talking I've done. And before when I'd come, you know, I'd just do my thing, like water my cows, you know, do my projects, whatever. But now it's just people are always willing to talk to me, which is awesome. I love that. And then for you, what does it mean to know that you're going to be representing Bremer County at the Iowa State Fair here in a couple weeks? Yeah, actually, I'll be representing Bremer County at the Iowa State Fair next Tuesday through Saturday. And it's... I'm a little nervous because, you know, it's a big fair. There's a lot of girls running. I'll be up against 102 other girls, but I am so excited and I am grateful that I am the one girl that was selected to, you know, represent this entire county. So I'm so excited to go compete with the other girls and just see this um, state fair. It'll be great. <laughs> and then what would you say are some things that you've learned from Fair Queen experience? Uh, you can never have too many connections or talk too much or, you know, Never turn down a girl who wants a picture. Like a little girl, I've had so many little girls come up to me and they're just like, can I please have a picture? I'm like, of course. <laughs> you know, that's my favorite part about this almost is just the little girls. And so talking too much is not a thing. Smiling too much is not a thing. You can never smile too much. So just keep smiling, keep talking, and you know, keep people interactive and keep connecting with people because you can never do that too much. And then kind of talk about how you would say your run last year for Fair Queen and this year, how they were kind of different and maybe what kind of separated you from last year to yeah. this year. So I definitely feel like from when I ran last year to when I ran this year, I have grown so much as a person. I have matured so much. I mean, it was only a year difference, but that year difference makes the difference in a world, you know, like... I don't know how or why, but I matured so much. And the way I answered my questions in the interview and the way I uphold myself and you know talk to others has just changed a lot since last year. And I'm grateful for that change because I think it really helped me in the process and helped me in my interview process. So just my maturity has changed a bit. All right, so just kind of how do you think you'll take this experience and use it in your future? 
this experience has really helped me grow as a person. It's really made my communication and my speaking skills just skyrocket. You know, speaking in front of people at the grandstands or talking to people throughout the fairgrounds, I've just really improved my connections and my relationships and my speaking skills. So I'll definitely be able to carry those throughout the rest of my life, whether it be in my career or just in daily life. Absolutely. And then with just a few days kind of left of the fair, what would you say um, are some of the events that you're looking forward to or any words of advice for people that haven't come to the fair yet? Yep, so like I said earlier, I'm really looking forward to this rodeo because it's the first time we've had a rodeo here in a few years. So that'll be really exciting to have that. And for people that haven't been here yet, come. You know, it's free to get in and there's so many attractions, so many different rides. You know, there's barns filled with animals and the grandstand events are awesome. So just come take a look at it and have a great time.